Tyone just said a few minutes ago that you're fearless on the mound. He doesn't think he's seen somebody attack Ramirez the way that you did. Do you, do you feel like that out there? I feel like you have to have that confidence on the mound. Um, if you don't, a lot of hitters can sense the lack of confidence. Um, but that's nice of him, and uh, he's a good buddy of mine, so thanks for hyping me up. <laughs> What's the feeling like when you're in the zone like you were tonight, striking out eight guys in a very good lineup? It was actually weird. I felt terrible in my pregame bullpen. Um, I was talking to Barney, the bullpen catcher, and it was literally terrible. I could not throw a strike. Um, and then I go out there, and it was 3-0. And I was like, uh-oh, here we go. And then, uh, I don't know, it just clicked, and I uh, felt good after that. So maybe i got to have more bad bullpens. <laughs> I, that's, I was talking to Nestor about it too because he said that some of his best performances have been that because it almost locks you in. And in my pregame bullpen, normally I'm just throwing, getting my pitches in, getting warm. For the last five, ten pitches of my pregame bullpen, I was like, lock it in, dude. Like, let's go. We're about to get in this game. So um, it totally could have. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to intentionally do that anymore. But uh, yeah, it felt pretty good to actually execute when I got out there. Michael, what about this performance can you take with you moving forward? Um, I mean, just kind of build off the confidence, build off of uh, uh, locating my fastball pretty well, um, staying ahead of the count. Um, this was one of those where I, I had both off-speed pitches um, commanded pretty well. And, um, and yeah, so I just got to kind of build and, and stay confident. There are not too many relievers who can command four pitches <laughs> out of the bullpen. Does that play differently where, you know, I, I think later innings guys are probably focusing on one or two pitches most of the time? Yeah. I. Uh, um, well, thank you for that. I, uh, I felt like I was, I was able to command it today, um, and that obviously doesn't happen often. Um, I actually had a text from Sam Breen, our minor league pitching director, and he said, like, you had all four working today. Because um, I've always talked about if I have four, hopefully, plus pitches, and only two of them are working out of the bullpen, I can easily get through a lineup. Not easily, but at least be confident getting through a lineup. And when I have all four, it uh, allows me to kind of do some fun stuff and, and uh and toy around with players and really keep them off balance. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's been a, a weapon for me. And I feel like that was the first time I had my change up um, that I was able to locate um, and, and then was able to really have sinker and four seam um, that I, I could put kind of wherever I wanted um, and I was able to get ahead of counts that way. Michael, as you're out there, are you counting along with it? Do you realize you've got seven in a row? I had no idea that I had seven in a row. I knew I struck out the side in the second. Um, and then when I went out there for the third, I Realized I struck out the side in the third, but I wasn't paying attention that it was seven in a row. No. The franchise record is eight. You wish you had a chance. Oh, phony. Come on. <laughs> no. Um, I had no idea. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'll take my uh, three innings and, and bounce. <laughs>